forget her name, someone, Judy, just ducked out of the camera range. There's Michael feeding his face. There's Joel, the cowboy hat. He owned three or four shoe stores, or three shoe stores in Waterbury at that time. And one of Artie Frank's friends. There's Artie Frank, speak of the devil. Little kids going around. That was, I think, Sherry Lynn. There's Leo. There's Londa. And Sydney. Uncle Sydney Frank. And there's. That must have been Shelly with the glasses, I guess, huh? No, Shelly's in front of that person. I don't know who that was with the glasses. And here's some more Waterbury scenes. There's Artie Frank. There's the. The boy that Florence Frank, who had already uh, passed away, she helped him. He had a heart condition at birth, and no one thought he was going to live more than six months, and there he is, about 16 years of age. There's uh, Michael and his cousin, Sherry Lynn. There's Marion, looking the same as she does now. That's who was running from the camera, I think, was Marion. Oh, now we're at this Frank family reunion picnic. There's Regina with her crew of three. Michael going into the water. Judy's kids. I think we counted up. There was 13 Frank kids there eight, under the age of seven, or seven and under. Karen and her cousin Karen were the two oldest. Uh, actually, not Frank's. Regina's a handler, but of the Frank cousins. Jimmy had his daughter. Sherry Lynn had one, Regina had three, Joel had three, Gordon had four, and Shelley might have had one. And Gordon is lying down with a napping Marjorie. It looks so tempting. The picnic had tired me out. I'd gone fishing with the kids. Uncle Jimmy had the kids out fishing. I think that's Aunt Marion behind us, Aunt Marion or Aunt Mary, working that camera there. And Gordon's taking a nap with his sleeping daughter, Marjorie. You can see Mona, she's got a bottle. Marjorie's got the bottle, and it's time to take a nap. Yes, I'm very tired too, Marjorie. Let's take a nap. About halfway through this reel here. Uncle Jimmy getting his fishing rod ready to give the kids. There's Judy. There's Londa in the water with Marion off to the left. Michael. And that that looks like Jimmy or George in the boat back there. All the kids paddling around. This is the only f family reunion we ever had. It was really an accident. This is Bantam Lake, by the way, that we're at. And this is the Gillette Castle in uh, outside Waterbury somewhere. We took the kids for a visit there to climb to the top of that in real good view. And this was the flight of the Apollo 11 landing on the moon. I took woke the kids up and it was really too dark to watch that capable comfortably. Kids through the back window of uh, our bedroom, the master bedroom on Coconut Road and this is, they didn't know we were, I was taking movies of them and it was a very natural scene for the four of them to get together and play like that. Tommy's climbing down. I touched up the rust spots. There's Marjorie on that little swing seat. Very comfortable. Tommy holding on, sliding down the... Oh, and these are the swimming races at the Boca Raton Hotel and Club, Cabana Club, that we would join every summer for about $50. It cost about $5,000 for a season these days. Tom Krieger and his wife were there. They were Their boys were very much in the swimming. There's Karen in the orange cap right in the middle. Go for it, Karen. Go. Come on. Stroke, stroke. Someone's really pumping the iron. Karen doing the breaststroke. Now she's doing some freestyle. With her right hand, right hand's out of the water. There was Tom Krieger in the middle. There's Jan Winston. So their daughter must have been swimming too. There was Adri, two-piece bathing suit. And here comes Michael. Come on, Michael, he's right in front. He's number one, no, he's number two right now. And he, but he's not getting his arms out of the water either. It's just he's doing a fast dog paddle, and he almost beat, beat the Krieger kid, I think. It's excellent. Michael, you are so fast. 
And there was some of the gang. There's Adri walking around the pool scene there. Oh, these were the lifeguards we're going to put on a little show, I believe. Some kind of races at the pool. Probably high school and college kids from the area. Top Krieger again. I think he went back. There's Bonnie Mandel, who was very sickly. At that time, she died about a year later. She visited us and spent a week, I think, in Boca and burned a hole in the back seat of the old Starfire Convertible's leather seats. I don't know, we're taking movies here of something, but backs of people aren't very interesting, are they? Oh, this is Bill Moore that I mentioned before. This is the Tommy's looking through a telescope. Trying to uh, get a view of the positioning before it actually occurs. There's Michael. Bill had an, an engineering background, was a customer engineer for many years before he was a salesman, a very outgoing, extroverted personality from California. Couldn't stand Monroe, as most people couldn't. Oh, I thought we had some boxes, I guess. Having difficulty with this Kodak projector wanting to feed this film through. It keeps going into an automatic reverse mode, which is nice if it's supposed to do that, but I'm not done with this reel. It's almost to the end of this Loxahatchee scene here, where we took the kids out to the airboats. Here's Margie again, cute little bunny rabbit. Tom Bustle, it says, there's the airboats in the background. This is the Everglades. They've recently closed up this spot. We were in uh, Boca last summer. No, not last summer, the summer before. Summer of 90, or 89, I guess it was. And it had been closed. There goes one of the earboats. It's a lot of fun to do that. And they have these park rangers that give you a, an excellent explanation of what's going on. The the ecosystem, the ecology and balance system in the Everglades. Michael and Margie and Karen standing there on the railing. Some of the old blacks doing some fishing, catfishing or whatever they can catch off the banks there. Excellent fish, very fresh of course. Karen and Michael, Tommy and Margie looking at the earboats and the boats on the side. Margie's getting big, isn't she? There's some of the boats and there's some of the wildlife on the banks. Oh, and here's through the back windows again of the kids in Boca Raton. Tommy hanging on. He had a good shape. Strong kids. Both Michael and Tommy were quite strong for their age. Michael loved those glasses. <laughs> Sunglasses on. This is shooting right through the screen. They couldn't see me. I was trying to get a close-up of Michael, but this camera was out of whack. This is before they had through the zoom, through the lens zooming it. You look through a mirror, which was a little bit off center. There's Michael. That sounds like the end of the reel, folks. This was the end of reel number 14. See you later. This is reel number 16. It's a 200-foot reel, and we're in Boca Raton at the Easter Parade in April of 1970. Karen and Michael and Tommy there watching the police or the fire engine truck come by with the Dalmatian ho uh, dog up on top. There's the Easter eggs out on the football field or the soccer field, and there's the charge of the wild kids to get the Easter eggs. Not a very well coordinated scene. There's Jan Winston in the middle, I think. There's 
Michael looking not that happy. He only has about 30 eggs, I think, in his basket. I think Tommy got a 